There are, many islands, in the sea near Scotland. This story is, about one of these islands. The name of, the island is Kana. Kana isn't big, but it's very beautiful. It's very quiet, too. There are, no houses, or, roads, or, cars on Kana. But there's a castle. The castle is very old. A young Scotsman, lives in the castle. The Scotsman's name is, Scott Samuel. Scott, lives in the castle, with his dog, Jockey. Scott is, very happy on his island. He likes, going for walks with Jockey. He likes, swimming, and, fishing in his little boat. There are, many big rooms in Scott's castle. They, have a lot of old things in them, pictures, and, heavy tables, chairs and beds. In winter the castle is, very cold, and dark. Scott puts on a lot of electric lights, in all the rooms. One Monday morning, in April, Scott gets a letter. What's this? He asks. He opens the letter. It's from the electricity company. Scott reads. Electricity from October to March, 6,000 pounds. Oh, Scott says. I haven't got 6,000 pounds. What can I do? He's very unhappy. I can do, only one thing, sell my island, and my castle. Scott telephones a man in London. The man's name is Mr. Case Bags. Mr. Case Bags sells houses, and castles. I want to, sell my island and my castle, Scott says. Okay, Mr. Case Bags says. Two days later, he telephones Scott. Jumping Jack wants to buy your island, he says. Jumping, who? Scott asks. Jumping Jack. You know, the famous American rock star. He wants to, buy your island for his girlfriend. A rock star, Scott says. Oh. He wants to see the island tomorrow afternoon, Mr. Case Bags says. Is that okay? Er, yes, Scott says. Yes, of course. Jumping Jack and his girlfriend are coming to the island by helicopter. They're very late. Scott and Jockey wait a long time. Then the helicopter arrives. A tall man with, long dark hair gets, down from it. He's about 40 years old. There's a girl with him. She's about 20, and has long yellow hair. There's a small animal with her. The animal has long white hair. Hi, the man says. I'm Jumping Jack. And this is my girlfriend, Kelly. Hi, Kelly says. This is my dog, baby. Jack looks at the castle. Look at that old castle, Kelly, he says. Don't you love it, honey? Roxanne doesn't smile. It's only an old castle. Jumping Jack can't go into the castle. It's very dark. Jumping Jack can't see. He falls down. Where are the lights? He asks. I'm sorry, Scott says. There isn't any light. The company stopped my electricity this morning. I want some hot food, Kelly says. I'm sorry, Scott says, but I can't make hot food. I haven't got any electricity. But there is some cold food. Cold food. 
Kelly says. No, thank you. I'm going to bed. But first I want a hot bath. And Boba wants a bath, too. I'm very sorry, Scott says. But there's no hot water. No lights. No food. No hot water. Kelly says. I don't like this place. Now, honey, Jumping Jack says. Don't call me honey. Kelly says. Let's go, baby. Kelly and baby go to bed. Jack and Scott eat cold food and talk. Jockey watches them. Suddenly Kelly screams. Scott, Jack and Jockey run to her room. Kelly is in bed with baby. Honey, what's wrong? Jack asks. There was a noise in the room, Kelly says. What was it? Scott starts to smile. Why are you smiling? Kelly says. She is very angry. Look at Jockey, Scott says. Jockey is under the bed. He has a mouse in his mouth. A mouse. Kelly says. She screams again. In the morning, Scott and Jumping Jack are waiting. Kelly and Baby are late. They get up at 11 o'clock. Good morning, Scott says. Kelly doesn't answer. She says to Jack, Jack, I don't like this place. I want to go home. But, honey, Jack says. Don't call me honey. Kelly says. This castle is old, dark and very cold. There's no electricity, no food and no hot water. And I don't like it. Do you understand? Listen, honey, Jack says. We can build a big new house here. Our friends from California can come and stay. Scott looks at Jockey. Jockey looks at Scott. Build a big new house. They think. Oh, no. Jumping Jack says, we want to see the island. Okay, Scott says. We can go in my boat. Scott, Jack and Kelly get into Scott's boat. Jockey gets in, too. Baby is with Kelly. It's a beautiful day, but Kelly isn't happy. What do you do all day? She asks Scott. I go for walks, Scott says. Sometimes I swim. And sometimes I catch fish. Oh, Kelly says. That isn't very interesting. Listen, honey, Jack says. We can make the island interesting. I know people with film companies. They can come here and make films. Hundreds of films. Scott looks at Jockey. Jockey looks at Scott. Film companies. They think. Oh, no. Scott is very unhappy. He doesn't want to sell his island and his castle to Jack. He doesn't want film companies or Jack's friends on the island. But what can Scott do? The electricity company wants 5,000 pounds. He has no case. He can't stay in his castle. Scott, Jack and Kelly are all sitting in Scott's boat. Jockey and Baby are with them. Suddenly, Jockey sees a rabbit on the island. Jockey loves catching rabbits. He jumps into the sea and starts to swim to the island. Baby thinks, this is interesting. And he jumps in, too. Baby is in the water. Kelly screams. Jump into the sea, Jack. Get baby. But Jack doesn't move. Why are you waiting? Kelly says. Jump in. But, honey. Jack says, I can't swim. Can't swim. 
Kelly says. She is very angry. Look. Scott says. Baby is okay. He's having a good time. Baby is swimming in the water with Jockey. Butkali is very angry with Jack. You don't love me. She says. And you don't love me, Jack says. You only love baby. You were right, Kelly says. She stands in the boat and starts to hit Jack. Don't do that. Scott says. The boat moves. Kelly falls into the water. She starts to scream. Kelly is making a lot of noise. Jockey sees Kelly in the water with Baby. What are they doing? Aren't they playing a new game? Jockey wants to play, too. He swims to Baby. Go away. Kelly screams. Scott brings the boat near Kelly. Kelly gets into the boat. Then Baby gets into the boat. Kelly is very angry. Take me back to California. Now, she says to Jack. Later Jack, Kelly and Baby get into their helicopter. Goodbye, Scott says. Jack and Kelly don't answer. The helicopter goes away. Scott smiles at Jockey. He's very happy. Jumping Jack isn't going to buy our island, he says. That's good. But Scott has big case problems. Jumping Jack doesn't want to buy the island. But where can Scott get £6,000 for the electricity company? Later, Scott telephones Mr. Case Bags in London. Jumping Jack telephoned me, Mr. Case Bags says. He doesn't like your island. He doesn't want to buy it. And I'm not going to sell it for you now. It's your problem. Goodbye. Scott goes for a long walk with Jockey. He's very unhappy. They walk to a place across the island. And there Scott sees a girl. She's looking at the sea and she's painting a picture. Near her is a small boat. Good afternoon, Scott says. The girl looks at Scott. She's beautiful. He likes her. Who are you? She asks. What do you want? I'm Scott Samuel, Scott says. I live here. Kana is my island. And this is my dog, Jockey. Jockey looks at the girl. He likes her, too. Kana is your island? The girl says. Oh. I'm Jean Stewart. I'm a teacher. I work in a school across the sea. Today is a holiday and the school is closed. I came here in my boat. I wanted to paint your island. The light is very good and the colors are very beautiful. I can paint good pictures here. Scott looks at Jean's picture. Yes, he says. Your picture is very good. Thank you, Jean says. Scott and Jean talk for a long time. Where do you live? Jean asks. I live in a castle, Scott says. Come and see it. Scott, Jean and Jockey go to the castle. Your castle is beautiful, Jean says. Yes, Scott says. But it's very cold and dark. There's no electricity. I have no case. I love my island very much. But I can't make case from it. Jean looks at the castle. I live in a castle, 
Scott says. Come and see it. Scott, Jean and Jockey go to the castle. Your castle is beautiful, Jean says. Yes, Scott says. But it's very cold and dark. There's no electricity. I have no case. I love my island very much. But I can't make case from it. Jean looks at the castle. Suddenly she says, Yes, you can. How? Scott asks. People can come here for holidays, Jean says. They can paint pictures of your island. I can teach them. And they can stay in your castle. We can make a lot of case. Scott looks at Jockey. Jockey looks at Scott. You are right. Scott says. Now Samuel painting holidays are very famous. Every year, many visitors, come to the island. They stay in the castle. They go for walks, and paint beautiful pictures. They take their pictures back to their homes. The rooms in the castle aren't cold and dark now. Scott and Jean have a lot of case. There is no problem with the electricity company. And Jean makes very good food. The visitors are very happy. Scott and Jean are married now. They have two children, a boy and a girl. Jockey loves playing with the children. Scott often sits in his little boat. Sometimes he catches a fish, but usually he sleeps. He's a happy man.